and welcome to Museum at Home. This is a project to get you hooked on museums, galleries and heritage sites. At the moment, life is very different. Many of us are stuck at home. We can't go to school and we definitely can't go on school trips. We're learning in our living rooms and we can't go out to visit places like museums and art galleries. But that doesn't mean that we can't learn a bit more about them. In these videos, I'll be checking out some incredible objects in museums all over the world, from Oxford to New York and from Paris to Rome. We'll be discovering how to look at objects and historical places, what questions to ask when we see them, how to talk about them and what we can learn from them. So, first of all, why are these places important? What is the point to hanging on to all of this stuff? That's a very good question. Why do we hang on to so much? Most towns and cities have a gallery or a museum crammed with old things. And almost everywhere you go, you can find old buildings like castles and stately homes. What makes them so special? Well, because objects, from the grandest painting to the smallest pot, can tell us a lot about our past. We learn from artefacts and buildings about the people who came before us, where they lived, what they ate, how they lived. And we use these objects as evidence of our understanding of history. We also appreciate objects for their beauty and for the skill that went into them. Anyone who has ever thrown a pot, decorated a room or painted a picture will tell you just how much work goes into any of these. We value objects from the past because they remind us of this and because we can discover from them how our understanding of beauty has changed over time. So, over the coming weeks, I want to introduce you to lots and lots of different artefacts. Some of them are big, so big in fact that they are buildings in their own right. Some of them are small, but all of them can tell us something about history and art, and together we're going to explore what that something might be. Now let's start by taking a basic object and thinking about what questions we might ask when we see it. There are five key question words that are very useful whenever we look at a new piece of art or an object. Can you guess what they could be? They are what, why, how, where and who. What? What is it? What is it used for? What is it made of? What can it do? Why? Why was it made? Why is it that shape, that colour and why does it feel like that? How? How was it made? How long ago was it made? How does it work? Where? Where was it made? Where was it used? Where was it found? And finally, who? Who made it? Who ordered it to be made? Who could have used it? And who found it? All of these questions are tools which we can use to investigate objects. And when you go to a museum or an art gallery or a historic site, you're a bit like a detective, a history detective, asking lots of questions to understand how something worked. Now, have a look at this group of objects. What are the first questions that spring into your head? Well, what is it? What clues do we have? Well, there are several objects together. What shapes can we see? If we look closely, we can see that they are the shapes of animals. Can you spot the pointed faces and the shapes of their bodies. Now, look even closer. We can see that they are decorated with marks. Now, the little chap in the bottom left of the picture has some very clear lines along his body. Could these be wings? And the chap in the centre looks as though he might have the markings of feathers. So, we can already make a guess that these objects represent birds. 
Now look carefully at the bottom of the objects. Can you spot some holes? What could they be used for? Do they remind you of anything? Perhaps something fitted in those holes, allowing the objects to move. But what about why? Why were these birds created? Who would want to have small birds with wheels on the bottom? Who would use them? And how were they made? And from what material? Now, archaeologists tell us that these are made out of terracotta, which means baked earth. So they're made from a type of clay that has been heated to very high temperatures. So even though we don't know anything about these objects, and we've never seen them before, we can ask some really good questions that will help us to understand more about them and to understand the people that made them. Now, these objects are actually held in the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford. Can you guess what they could be? Well, they are actually some very early toys. Now, archaeologists believe that originally they had wheels which is why we can see the holes at the bottom. And they would probably have been made for young children to play with. Now they weren't made in England. They were made all the way over in Pakistan. And they are very old. In fact, they were probably made around 1,400 years ago. So, over the next weeks and months, join me in discovering how to learn to talk about artefacts. We'll be looking at lots and lots of different things that you might find at a museum or a heritage site. Paintings, historical objects, castles, cathedrals, tombs and much, much more. Every Monday and Thursday a new video will be released and in each one we'll look at a different object from a different collection somewhere in the world. We'll also be looking at ordinary household objects that you can find at home and learn a little bit about their history. And you'll also find some follow-up activities inspired by each object for you to do at home. So, see you next time on Museum at Home. <laughs>